Hello, this is Brian Fisher. I'm a senior enterprise monitoring consultant for Prolifix, an IBM business partner. And today I'm going to demonstrate the application performance management user interface, also known as the APM UI, which is part of IBM's Smart Cloud APM solution. The focus of today's demonstration will be the simple yet powerful drill down navigational flow the APM UI provides by focusing our attention on key performance indicators also known as KPIs. Before I begin, there are a few key points I'd like to make about this user interface. First, this UI is based off of Web 2.0 technologies and does not require Java to run. Simply point your browser to the URL and off you go. Second, this user interface was developed with smartphones and tablets in mind. These widget buttons that you see on the screen before you are very easy to click and navigate through using touch sensitive screens and the uncluttered look and feel of the UI brings the information important to the user at the forefront. Thirdly, and most importantly, this user interface is primarily used for problem isolation, not problem diagnosis. That can later be done in the Tivoli Enterprise Portal interface. So here we go. First, we note that we have two applications in critical status. We're going to be focusing our attention on the trade application. And we see beside that the four widget buttons that we can click on to gather more information and the current status of each one. So we click on the resources components and we see the KPIs for transactions, the web server, the application server, and the database layer. And each one of these KPIs you can gain more information about it by simply hovering over the indicator. Now we see we have a transactions that are failing. So we can click on it and gain more information. Well, we see overall the volume has been uh, increasing over time, over the last hour, the number of bad requests. And we see the response time has been pretty flat, though. And we can also see it as a trend chart. So we know we have volume of traffic that's failing. So let's determine isolate why. So we look at the web server. We see a status of running. And we see our web server name. And we see some KPIs regarding the web server. Now these all look green, but we can click on the group widget to gain more information to make certain that there isn't a problem with our web server. We see our website name and we see the key performance indicators as trend charts again. Our request rates pretty flat, so are our transfer rates and page failure rates per minute and login failure rates are zero. So we have no issues there. So let's go to our application server. We see we're connected our worst response time 23 milliseconds, and our JVM memory utilization. The key thing that I note here is the heap usage percentage is trending off the charts. This might be a problem. So let's click on this group widget and see if we can isolate it to the application server. We see we have our 23 millisecond response time for the trade app. And we can see that the JVM garbage collection met uh, metrics, we see that Kilobytes freeze trending upward, which is good, and the kilobytes uses trending downwards, which is what we want to see. But our GC rate's been going a little bit off, but our heap usage has been going down over time. So let's check the web container thread pool sizes. Maybe they're running out. Nope, that looks good. And our database connection pools, are we running out of those? Nope. It appears that it was just the garbage collection was running high over time, but is now trending downwards. But we do have a red alert on our database tier. So let's check that information out. We can see it's active. We can see our highest table space percentage is pretty utilized. So let's click into this make sure that this isn't our problem. We see this table space name syscat space is 94% used. That's a system table space. We expect that. So that doesn't indicate a problem. We're looking at locks list in use. We don't have any locks, so that looks good. Buffer pool hit ratio is 0 and we have no sort overflows occurring either and our log utilization rate is pretty low so we don't need to roll over any log files so very quickly we're able to isolate this to the application server tier so let's click on the events and see what event open up and if we hover over it we see more information about this event including the situation name and we hover over and we can see the ID in full and we also see the severity of warning and our display item indicates the URL that's violating our threshold for response time. So very quickly we're able to drill down via this navigational flow 
and gained insight into the KPIs of the various application tiers. This provided us the ability to isolate our problem to the application server tier based upon high JVM heap utilization. So I would like to thank you for watching this video and you may contact me anytime at bfisher at prolifix.com. Thanks and have a great day.